Forgotten Realms, edition 3.5. Magic, yes. I know you think you know what it is and how it works. You don't. You're an ignorant fool, just like all the others. You think that magic is a tool, like a hammer. Something that you pick up when you need it. Swing it around for a while and put it down again when you're done with it. Not so. Magic is a living thing, part of the Lady of Mysteries, a deity to whom you only pay lip service. You don't just grab onto her when you need magic, squeeze the power out of her, and discard her when you're done. That sort of treatment comes back to you back to you. There's a reason why most old mages are obsessed or insane. Mistra punishes them for their lack of respect. No, you have to study her, learn how she works, learn what she likes, and understand why she do does what she does. While a tool has no sentient, sentience, magic has a woman's mind conscience behind it. A woman who just 12 years ago was a living and breathing person you could run into on the street. I did once down in the city, although I had no idea what she was to become. So yes, magic has a conscience. Mistra knows whether your spell is good or evil and knows what you're doing with it. She may not approve. When she disapproves, you'll find it. You'll know it. She, she can slam the doors upon your ability to use magic and not open them again until she has decided you're worthy. Then there are the others. Then there, then there are the other deities of magic. Azuth, Savras, and Lich, the Lich deity, Vashal Rune, Mysterious Shar, and the deities of magic far off lands and of other races. Each of them has a hand in magic as well. I'm sure you consider yourself smarter than most, but that Sharon dagger you carry that dulls your, your mind every day is a legacy of the dark sister of Mistress Magic, and its tank, and its tank can be detected, although with difficulty. And you have no idea why. I suppose you think it's cursed and its powers outweigh its costs. So much more to it exists that you do not see. But do not feel too bad. I have seen and spoken with mages all over this world who never bother to understand the forces they manipulate every day. Thayan evokers like yourselves and mystic wanderers of Bashaba, nomadic spell dancers and those who count themselves among the ranks of ex-allies, the Harpers. I've met Hell Ruin alchemists, Aglarondon sorcerers, and even the rare practitioners of Spellfire. All these mages could do so much more if they studied the methods of magic rather than just its utility. Hundreds of new spells leap to mind, as do, as do many magic items, all inspired by a deeper knowledge of the art. But you are too busy busy mastering fire, fireball and receiving the gentle admon, admonishment of your red wizard masters and planning for the day when you would break into my home.
If you, if only you had learned all this years ago, my little fan spell thief, then you wouldn't be where you are today. Bound in my spell that leaves you utter, utterly immobile. You might have known how to bypass a spell agent or how to recognize a Kiera from a common gemstone or talk, talk your way past a spectator or spot any of the other wizards and traps I have placed around Blackstaff Tower. And I wouldn't have to slay you for your folly. By Kelbin, Blackstaff, Orenson. <laughs>